Hello, I'm Mike Chapman, Design Director on Sea of Thieves. Our goal with Sea of Thieves was to create a new kind of multiplayer experience, one that could change perceptions of what multiplayer could really be. We believe that we could create an experience where players truly felt that they were working together, one where they truly shared the journey. Our goal was to remove barriers, allowing players to play together, no matter how long they've individually played for, rather than being about a vertical ladder of power progression that separates friends when they're at different stages of their journey. We wanted to build a game where the value of sharing a rich and diverse world with other players is much more meaningful than ever increasing stats. We wanted the relationships between players in Sea of Thieves to run so much deeper and mean more than just who has mastered the mechanics or who has the best reaction times. Skill will manifest itself in many ways in Sea of Thieves. And whether you want to come into this world and sail alone on a small ship or choose to always play with a crew, our goal was to create a memorable and unique experience. This approach is at the very heart of the progression system and quests in Sea of Thieves. While the game will have directed goals and compelling progression, the unpredictability and emergent encounters of our world ensure a multitude of possibilities each time you play. It allows players to share elements of their personal progression, strengthening crew relationships and providing tangible benefits to being with others, just as you would really expect if you were really in this immersive pirate world. I'd like to spend some time discussing how the progression and quest system works in Sea of Thieves and provide an insight into the kind of adventures you'll be able to have. The world of Sea of Thieves embodies the freedom, romance, high adventure and the thrilling excitement of the pirate life. As you explore, you'll discover this beautiful world full of countless adventures, unknown dangers, treacherous weather and wild, untamed islands filled with pirate caves and wildlife. Most importantly, the world is filled with other real player crews, often their own voyages. While the adventures that you embark upon in Sea of Thieves will play differently each time, ultimately, every player is on their own personal journey to build a reputation and become pirate legend. Part of this journey will be how you present yourself to other pirates. As players journey across the Sea of Thieves, they'll be able to tailor their pirate by customizing items such as hooks, peg legs, beards, hairstyles, clothing, equipment, and weapons. You'll be able to find the look that suits your character and playstyle best. But differentiating your character also includes building a reputation. The outposts of the world are inhabited by non-playable characters who have come to the Sea of Thieves with their own motivation. These characters have set up their own trading companies, each representing a unique playstyle. The gold hoarders have come to treasure hunt with the goal of amassing great wealth. The Merchant Alliance have come to control trade in the Sea of Thieves, while the Order of Souls wish to control the ancient and mysterious magic of this pirate world for themselves. Each trading company will allow you to build a reputation, get promoted within their ranks, and unlock unique items and titles to show off your progress. Players build their reputation by purchasing and completing the favoured activities of each trading company, including voyages, which are what we call quests. Voyages in Sea of Thieves are physical objects that other players can see. Based on the reputation you've built with each trading company, your voyages will not only become richer and more rewarding, but they'll challenge you more and introduce more mechanics. The way your voyages look to others will also reflect this progress. Each crew member brings his or her own voyages to the table, literally. Any crew member can bring their own voyages to the crew and share their personal progression with others. Players can propose voyages on the ship, allowing the crew the chance to decide together the kinds of adventures they wish to embark upon. In fact, other players may have access to voyages that you don't, meaning that there are rewarding benefits for being part of a crew. Most importantly, there are no barriers in place preventing players playing together, since the most challenging voyages can potentially be shared. There are no waiting for friends to catch up with you, no encounters where you'll face off against overpowered players. The tools and weapons in Sea of Thieves function just as you would expect. A cutlass is just a cutlass. A flintlock pistol is just that. How you use these tools and work with other players is what will make the difference. Even just having an extra pair of eyes and ears in the crow's nest can make all the difference in a game like Sea of Thieves. Elements, such as your reputation progress, 
mean that progression in Sea of Thieves is not a one-dimensional number. How you look to others, the titles you've earned and choose to use, and the voyages you have allow for far richer interactions between players. This is a pirate world after all, and it's up to you how you want to uniquely express yourself. Now let's look in detail to the kinds of adventures you can have with the trading companies. The Gold Hoarders Trading Company was founded by legendary treasure hunters who wish to amass a great fortune. They are in possession of a mysterious set of skeleton keys, and they will pay pirates a cut of gold when they return chests to them. The more you build your reputation with the Gold Hoarders, the more they'll trust you to go after larger hordes of lost treasure, some of which will be protected by former pirates, now transformed into forsaken skeletons. Some of the voyage types, like the riddle maps, will test your knowledge of the islands, encouraging exploration and teamwork. Players also have the freedom to just explore, coming across opportunities in the world that might earn them reputation with the trading company. There are rewards waiting across the world, whether that be deep in caves, on sunken reefs, or in the hands of other players. You just need to seek them out. While voyages give you specific objectives, you'll be free to take on the world at your own pace and see what's waiting out there. Players also receive special awards from each trading company called commendations. These allow players to earn specific titles and show off some of their special achievements. Of course, not all treasure is silver and gold, and we wanted a world with very different activities that players and crews could seamlessly move between. The Merchant Alliance are seeking to control the flow of trade between the fledgling outposts of civilization in the Sea of Thieves. They will pay pirates to scout for supplies and ferry shipments like resources and gunpowder across the sea. These kinds of cargo can earn you handsome rewards if you fulfill your contract and deliver on time. There are, of course, much more valuable resources out there in the world. We wanted our wildlife to not only make the world of Sea of Thieves feel alive, we wanted to make it a major part of the gameplay and fundamental to progressing with the Merchant Alliance. Players will find different breeds of animals across the world, encouraging them to scout out islands to find what they need. Once you find the animals you need, you'll then have to catch them. Then you'll have the noble job of tending to their care on your return journey to the Merchant Alliance. Lightning from a storm and raising water levels are some of the challenges that you'll face. Of course, there's also the ever-present possibility of encountering other pirates who'll seek to relieve you of your valuable cargo. Much like the other tools you'll have at your disposal, cargo can be used in different ways, presenting you with a few tricks up your sleeve to defend against incoming borders. The Order of Souls are a trading company formed by conjurers and seers they have found a way to recapture the enchanted magic from the skulls of former pirates, and they'll reward anyone who brings the skulls back to them. Voyages for the Order of Souls will take players on the hunt for infamous skeleton crews and captains, presenting players with combat-focused challenges as they work together to defeat their targets and retrieve the skulls. Some of these skeletons may be holed up in one of the many forts throughout the world, requiring players to perform a daring raid to make landfall and storm these fortresses in search of the school they need. These valuable locations also present opportunities for other nearby crews. You can never be too sure who may join you and what their intentions might be. These voyages put players on the path to becoming Pirate Legend. But in many ways, these adventures are just the beginning. Pirate Legends will not only earn the respect of their fellow players in Sea of Thieves, they will play a major role in the golden age of piracy that's still to come.